What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Coach Black, your internet relationship and breakup coach. Today's topic, this is the only reason that your ex will regret the breakup. Something I see over and over again with dumpers that come to a place where they realize they made a mistake, they regret their decision to leave, is that there's one common pattern and it's very interesting. It's almost like they never expected that this would happen. To go from one end of the spectrum where they don't care about you, in some cases maybe they even hate you or they said very negative things. And all of a sudden they're on the other end of the spectrum where they want to fix things, they have a different perspective, and now they're trying to talk and see how the relationship could be salvaged. It's always interesting to me and surprising to them because I have had the opportunity to talk to multiple dumpers. So I want to explain to you what that concept is here in this video and hopefully it does help you out with your situation so you can also see things from the lens of the other person. First and foremost, we must appreciate and recognize that your ex did plan this. They expected the relationship to end. They have thought about it for some time and they were totally fine with it. They were happy. They were expecting greener pastures, clearer skies when the relationship is over. They had no intention or incentive to come back. That is the truth. And this is why when your ex is talking to you at the end of the relationship, they're going to sound very certain about what they want. I'm done with this, we'll never work, we'll never be together. They always say things like that. But the most interesting and important thing that is very common in human nature is that human beings are poor judges of what we will want in the future. I want you to take a second and think about yourself and all of the decisions and choices that you've made in your life that you've come to regret later. Maybe it was a tattoo that you got in college or maybe even a couple years ago. Maybe it's your first career that before you got the job, you were excited. I, I can't wait to do this. It's going to be the best job ever. And, and when I finally get this position, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go there. And usually once you get into the position and you get into these experiences, it's usually totally different than you expected. That is just the, the naiveness, if you will, of our mind and the tricks and the games that we play on ourselves. We are very poor judges of what we will want in the future, even though in the moment we can be very sure and very certain that this is in my best interest, this is what I want. Until you live it out, you never know what to expect on the other end. There's a quote by Mark Twain that I absolutely love, which applies here. And it says that it's not what you don't know that kills you. It's what you know for sure that isn't so that kills you. See, when your ex is extremely emotional and certain that they're making the right decision, it's not your job to argue with them. It's not your job to convince them. In a lot of ways, you even want it's better when they're emotional because, you know, emotions are like a wave and we ride them up and down like human beings. So when they're so certain at the conclusion of the breakup, do not take that necessarily at face value. It's how they feel in the moment. And even though they're certain now, I've seen it time and time again. Why? Because human beings are typically poor judges of what we will want in the future. And this also applies to you, might I say. There is a chance that right now you want your ex and two months or three months down the line, your perspective changes. So give your ex that time and space to realize that they made a mistake. Do not interfere because the more you try, now they will resist you because human beings also have a desire to be free, to make our own choices as sentient people. But the thing about this that I also want to stress here is that this is also what maximizes the pain for your ex. This is what makes them really regret their decision and want to come back because in their mind, at one point, they had you. You were theirs. 
and they are the ones that inflicted this pain on themselves by walking away. So that pain actually becomes amplified because they had you within their grasp. They took you for granted. Now you're in no contact. There's minimal conversation and they're starting to realize that the grass was not greener. The problem with the grass is greener syndromes is it does affect most of us human beings. And when your ex is going through the breakup, they're like a kid in a candy store that's chasing that sugar high, that excitement of the newness of a new person or hanging out with friends and partying and going on trips and doing all these things without you. But the problem is they are still the same person. They are typically the source of all their problems. They're typically the source of all the frustrations that in some cases they will start blaming on you. So what happens is that even though they go into these new arenas, new places where the grass is supposed to be greener or they're talking to new people, is that they bring all of their baggage and problems with them. And the sugar high never lasts for long. There's usually a crash after the high. But what you have to do is to stay away so you're not part of that uh, damage and destruction, right? So that your all of that pain isn't projected onto you. Allow them the experience of going through this bad decision. It's not your job to save them right now, right? Nothing is a better teacher than experience. And unless your ex actually goes through this, they will never know that you were right. They will never know that this was the wrong decision for them if in this case, you guys were actually meant to be and actually are good, compatible partners together. They have to experience the loss. They have to experience the failures of trying to replace you with someone else and realizing that uh, maybe my ex was not so replaceable. So as much as it hurts you, you truthfully have to back away and allow them to go through this. While you focus on yourself, you improve your life. And I'm telling you, it's going to be the best investment and the best choice that you can make for yourself. And also understand that as this applies to your ex, it does apply to you. There is a chance that after you grow and after you improve, you may decide that your ex is not the best option for you. Maybe you can do better. And if they are, they realize what they lost. They realize they made a mistake. They come back at least one, you're ready, you've made improvements, and now you can also have expectations of them. What have they been working on? How do they match up to who you want them to be? Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are. What is your current experience? Is your ex, you know, dating other people and partying and doing all these things, or are they just staying to themselves? What phase in your breakup are you? Go ahead and drop them down in the comment section below and let me hear what you're going through. I will respond to as many comments as I can. So I appreciate you for taking the time. If you want to talk to me one on one, the quickest way to do so is to click the first link in the description. Where we can talk about your situation. If you haven't already, be sure to like this video. I, I really appreciate you for doing so. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell. And oh, there's some shirts, hoodies, uh, there's a nice mug over there. If you're interested, go ahead and pick one up. I appreciate you. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.